5.8 random walk, uh, we are going to write a method named random walk that performs a random one dimensional walk. We're going to report each position reached, and then we are eventually going to return the maximum position during the entire walk. We know we have to start at position zero, and then on each step, we are going to increase or decrease the position by one. And the walk will stop when we hit these things, so three or negative three. So first, let's write out our method. It's going to be a public <coughs> static. We are not returning anything, only printing, so it's going to be of type void, and the name is this random walk. We have no parameters, so this is empty, and then we have our header right here. So this is what our header is going to look like. Now, there's a few things we need to do. We know that we're going to use the random class, so we need to make an instance of it. We'll do random r is equal to a new random, and that's how we instantiate that. Now, you're going to have to keep track of the walker's position. So let's make a variable for that. We'll do int and we'll call it position. We're going to set it equal to zero because we know it starts at zero. Also, we need to track the maximum position reached during the walk. So we are going to set our max and we need to declare it. And inside of here, um, our max is going to be equal to whatever value is that we're starting at. And we know we're starting at position zero. So max is going to be equal to zero. And so that's that. Now we can run a loop. We know that when we print this out, we are going to run this until a three or negative three is hit. And when a three or negative three is hit, we're still going to print this out. So we are going to check the condition after we run the code for it. And that's perfect for a do while loop. So we're going to write do and we are going to have our braces, and then we are going to have the while. And we're going to run this as long as our position is, does, or does not equal to three, and the position does not equal to a negative three. And so, end this line, need to print out the position, so we are going to copy that, and we're going to write it in a system dot out dot print line where inside of here we have this as a string oh wait i must have copied it wrong but we have position and we're setting it equal to and then from here we are going to have our actual position which i spelled incorrectly so we have int position which you're going to append right here inside this system dot out dot print line so we can end this and then after we print this out we're going to want a new position, right? So we're going to make a, or we're going to make a call to the random class with this instance right here, R. We're going to store it inside of something. Now we know that we are only increasing or decreasing the position by one. So we could do r.nextInt and go from like zero to two, or we can use the random Boolean. So we're going to store it in a Boolean we're going to call it step and we're going to set equal to r dot next boolean. So this is going to get either a one or a zero, which means true or false. So then we're going to fall into this if statement because we need to check if it is a one or a zero. So we're going to do if, if our step is equal to true, what we're going to want to do is we are going to do position minus minus. That's basically moving it down one position, so a negative one. So it'll be position minus minus. So it's going to go from zero to a negative one. That's only if step is equal to true. Remember, this is a random. So if step is not equal to true, we'll follow this else statement, and we'll just do position plus plus. And with position plus plus, we're going to be moving up one like this. And so that is it for that, really. And we don't need to put braces around it because it's just one line of code that's going to execute with the if and the else. So from here, what we need to do is update our max if we need to. So we are going to have an if statement. We're going to say if the position is greater than our max, then our max is no longer a max. So we are going to set our max equal to the position to update it. We can end this line and that's going to be it for a while loop. We're going to run this until either a three or a negative three is hit. So after these increment enough times, once we're done with that, we're gonna want to print out this um, max position right here. 
So we can copy this because it's just the string. And we're going to have a system dot out dot print line. We're inside of here. We're going to print max position. And then we're going to append to it the maximum position. And then we can end this line. Oh, that is not right. So we need to then end the function. And also with this do while loop, uh, we are going to run it and we're going to run it and we're going to run it. But because we update this right here and then inside of here, we are moving it to either a negative three or a three. Once we hit here, we're actually not going to print out this negative three because we have incremented it right here and it checks it right here. So since that happens, we are going to have to do one print line of this right below it. And that's just because we are updating the position right here and then we are checking it. So I guess we could have done this in a while loop too, but we'll keep it in a do while loop. So submitting it like this, we've passed four out of four tests and we've finished exercise 5.8, which is random walk.